Okay, let's take a look at Centerfuse 3. I'm going to start by double clicking Centerfuse 3 icon here. Uh, a little bit about the test system. Test system is the uh, Intel D945 GCL F2. That's a dual core Atom 330. 512 megs RAM. 80 gigabyte uh, Seagate EE25 hard drive. Hmm, pretty typical common uh, car PC setup. We're just loading a uh, center fuse here. Okay, this is our main menu. As you can see, we got one song already started playing here. Something I left running. I'm just going to turn down the volume down just a bit here. As you can see, the volume knob is accessible pretty easily. You can change up and down, or you can set the volume just by clicking this little white bar here. I'm going to keep it on the low side right now. Okay, uh, well. Let's see, we got the title of the songs going here. We can advance the song to where we like to uh, go to the song. I guess you would say that. Okay, what else can we look on here? Okay, we got uh, our music being played through the media player. Here's a list of the songs. It's in the uh, list. Source, we have Blue oh, sorry, USB, DVD, or hard drive. Of course, we got my library, which is on the hard drive. And we can uh, view items in uh, different categories, albums, genres, videos, etc. Okay, I'm just going to cancel this. And I'm going to go back to main menu by clicking on this icon over here. Okay, actually I'm going to go back there. I just noticed there was some nice little graphics dancing over here. If you click on there, you can change it to some other uh, graphics or effects you want to call them. They're nice. Here we got a little star for if you want to put it as a, add it to your favorites, or I guess you rank it. It doesn't seem to be doing anything here. Hmm. Okay, let's just continue. Go back to main menu. Music is basically what we just saw there. I'm not sure why there is a difference between uh, the media player and music because they both do the same thing. Media player has our video in there as well. So you can see his video on here. Cancel out of there. Okay, uh, navigation. Let's click on navigation here. It's defaulted to a Canadian map. Uh, if you want to change your Canadian map to something else, we just click on main menu, or sorry, menu, and go new address. And we have to go under mode, and then go under change maps. Now, this is one thing I do not like, but you have to basically pick. Uh, the region that you plan to visit ahead of time. So I'm somewhere in the mid. Let's see, where are we here? Northeast? Possibly. I think that might be my region. Let's see. Yeah, well, not quite. Let's go back again. Oops, made a mistake. Main menu, or navigation menu new address yeah so this is not really something I like to do meaning changing maps to find out uh, you basically have 10 maps over your GPS and you got to pick the correct one in order to load the right maps oops I made a mistake again change map click on this arrow to go down now let's see where would I be north Cancel. No. Well, I would basically have to go through a bunch of those until I find the right spot. I'm located in the Detroit area, so I, I don't want to waste my time looking through there. Okay, let's go back to the menu. Look what we have available. Uh, let's see, what do we have? We have new address. And you would just spell out the street you want to visit. Any typical GPS software works in that, that way. Uh view we can change the view to 3d view traffic info obviously I don't have that kind of hardware now let's try it. let's go back in there again all right I remember there were some points of interest somewhere in here here we go click on gas so point us to the closest 
gas stations, the things that we expect to see. Uh, and if we didn't like this current song that's playing while we're doing all these things, just click on this little nice icon here in the top corner. And boom, you're on a new song, or you can change it more media just by clicking on here. Boom. Pretty nice. You go back, and you're back to doing what you are doing just earlier. So I love this little feature right here. Uh, let's uh, let's continue. What else do we have here? Typical things that we find in GPS. History. Set your home. Avoid the road. Uh, roads to avoid. I'm not sure how you set this up because I didn't quite find it in the documentation. Um, I'm not sure if you can like say you don't want to go in certain gravel roads or something. Just cancel out of here. Let's go to this little icon here for a main menu. Uh, this is one of the four main menus because you got a little dot here. You got four little dots or four circles. We're on the very first one. Click here. We can go to the second one, third one, and finally the fourth one here. And I'm just going to click again and go back to that first one again. All right. Let's see what else we see here. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but when I was clicking, there is a slight lag. Oh, oh seems to be about a half second. It's, it's still okay. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Um, we got radio. This is I have no radio currently plugged in this hardware. But if we had radio, we'd be playing it from there, which is nice. And if we had a uh, Bluetooth cell phone, we can access it from here. All right, let's continue. Let's go to uh, page two, or main menu two. XM satellite, iPod, which is something new to me. I didn't notice that uh, that was available for front ends. Photos. I don't have any photos to show off, but uh, yeah, it's there. DVD, play a DVD from your DVD player. Oh, you can go on the web from here. That's kind of nice. Okay, let's see how we cancel out of here. Hmm, would be this one. Oh, well, I brought us a menu, but from here I can go back to main menu. Okay. Email, this is kind of neat. You can actually have it uh, configured and read out your email, etc. Let's go on to the next options we have in here. Weather. You have to uh, pre you have to configure weather ahead of time. <coughs> Meaning uh, you got to mention where you're at, which city. So I put 48180, which is pretty close to where I'm located. It's cold out, so obviously I'm doing this in indoor instead of outdoors. Scroll through what ones you've programmed in here. Okay, back. Mixer. We've got uh, master volume. A little other knobs here. Treble bass, etc. EQ or presets for rock, folk, etc. All right. Let's see what else we can explore here. Wi-Fi. That's for our wireless. There's no wires currently plugged in my hardware, but this looks like a very easy way of interfacing. Notice that uh, all these buttons are very large, very friendly for uh, a touch screen. It's pretty important if you don't want to carry a mouse uh, in your car. You want to do everything from your touch screen. OBD2, this is for people that have 1996 cars and newer and have the interface plugged in. Like a Elm scanner, I believe that's what it's called. Okay, uh, you can see the parameters that you can view from in there. And you can also read trouble codes. Hmm, that's very nice. That could come handy sometime. This is for like your uh, reverse camera. Like if you have one of those things plugged into your car. Oh, good way to know. You've got even a recording option. That looks nice. System. This is where we can make uh, configuration changes. Settings. Now, I notice that there's uh, 18 options here, but if you want to actually get into the advance and um, modify even more things, go to the bottom, click on Advance, Setup, click Yes, and now we have 27 items. You have more items to uh, edit. Let's look under General. Okay, you can see some of the things we set up here time zone, etc. Click here to see other options under general. We're on page two or three. We've programmed hibernation and things like that. 